okay welcome back to another video so this video i'm gonna showcase the last demon slayer character demon slayer not the not not including the tonoki guy also released from this update because i'll 100 do a video on him but it's just a matter of time how, like, when i get him so yeah um this character i can't lie to you is kind of busted in my opinion the rampage skill holy crap that skill is op because if you go up into the air you, you as you know if you go in the air the enemies can't actually like, sense you type so that they can actually use skills on you while in the air so like they I don't iframe and if they don't iframe you get to hit your skill 100 percent and do a lot of damage so that is what i'm seeing right now with akaza here and also that one bug i just like got in the rango career was actually kind of crazy too so yeah you guys can decide if you want this character or not but in my opinion just go for rengoku if you guys want a quicker and faster mythical character and like does a lot of damage and everything but yeah actually no there's no buzz in this because like both of those characters are good uh, just one is easier and one is harder that's all now we are on the road to 4,000 4, subs so if we, and we are very close very close to halfway of three, uh, 4,000 subs we are nearly to 3.5k so if you guys can do me that favor and subscribe i greatly appreciate it also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on this video. Also, if you guys like, um, what did I say? Also, again, like, no, just if you like want to see more of this um max character showcase content and videos and everything, um, you know, leave a like on this video too to show me and see more of it. So, yeah, we are gonna get into the video now. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, I forgot to do this part again, but let's just do it now. So. If you guys haven't already joined my Discord server, uh, you guys can post your own Roblox videos here. Must be related to Roblox though. So yeah, and also, you also chat, ask questions. You know, post your stuff on media and everything. Now, um, the server is quite small, I know, but I have I am trying to regrow this whole server again. Uh, my previous server had like one thousand plus members, but yeah, I just deleted it. I know. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to join this, this my Discord server, the links is in the description down below. So yeah, enjoy this video now. Alright, welcome back to another video. So this video, we're going to showcase the last character from the Demon Slayer update. Um, I know that's still the Onoki or Tonoki guy, but like he's from Naruto, so this is the final Demon Slayer character. So... We're gonna see how good he does and is he worth the grind we'll see right now so first his basic combat damage is okay wait a minute am i am i looking at things right only 157 let's take a look at um rangoku real quick no you gotta be capping man you gotta be capping with me no why do you give a level a 0.7% character such as um lower damage than rank goku's basic combat what <laughs> um i'm not sure why they do that but like okay but like i think this is gonna be even worse than rank goku for some reason because like rank goku have very much more damage than akaza in the basic combat like what all right so first skill is upper high i haven't looked at skills yet so Oh, that's the okay. So for one thing good about um Akaza is that he can show you his range a little because of the deployment look the deployment thingy. So this thing just attacks anybody in the range and it does a it only does a thousand five hundred seventy one damage. That's interesting, but the cooldown is quite short as you can see here. Now next skill is bombard. Oh no, that's a shredder in my opinion. Um okay, that's that's a good skill. It does like 3000 to 4000 damage, 314 per hit. So that's a okay skill in my opinion, and the cooldown is also short, so that's also very good. So now rampage. They're going to uh hmm. Okay, this is literally the same skill as bombard. You just you just uh how do you say you're in the air with a um high um how do you say with a better range to hit your enemies so okay but the cooldowns here is a bit much longer here as you can see last skill is annihilation so let's take a look at this hmm all right as you can see here it is not as good as rank goku like 
for real, it's not as good as Shrine Goku. But the good thing about this character is that it have a short cooldown. So you tr you can like how to say if you miss your skills, you can just can wait for it to come at like very quickly and use it again. So that's one thing good about this character. However, the damage on this character is super low, especially when this character is a uh, zero point seven percent drop rate. So like. I'm not sure if this character is worth it. You guys can literally just grind rank Goku for a higher damage character. Uh, and another thing about this raid is that it's super tanky. So you gotta take a long time just fighting this boss unless you wanna use the Hashirama glitch or the Gucci glitch where you like how to say spam your skills infinitely. Uh, if you don't do that, it's gonna take a it does, it's gonna take very long. For me, I think it took me a uh, I think a base around like 5 minutes I should try to kill him but I think it was shorter because um, I was using Hashirama but I didn't use the glitch since I didn't know how to do it but I, I got it already so there's no need for me to use the glitch or anything so um, that's good um, I got 2 of him I don't know how but like I just missed the first one when I was grinding so I got another one and, and I searched up the name and just, and yeah, I just got 2 so that's unfortunate. I, I just kind of wasted my time there, but it's okay. So, as you can see from the 4 skills, I mean, it's not... It's actually kind of good in my opinion because of the short cooldowns. But, but, the range... The only good skill with range is, um, Rampage with the fast skill. Like, Rampage is the only skill you can actually like, spam around like that. So, like, um... Not sure, man, because upper high might have um, range here. Yeah, okay, never mind. Upper high might have little range here, so it's a good thing. Bomba is more like a close range skill. I'm not sure if we can even use it on the bosses in this game now because of their iframes. Then Annihilation. Mm, can we move in this skill? Yeah, we can actually. That's interesting. So, um, Annihilation can actually move a little when you're in the air, so that's okay. But, like, mm, this. The. Bomba and Annihilation have a quite, um, how do you say, long, how do you say, short range in my opinion, but I think it's fine since they do some sort of damage right, and they have short cooldowns. You guys decide how good he is right now, so we're gonna play a raid. I'm not gonna do the bosses because these bosses are hella tanky, so I can't do that. So I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna try Control Hashira raid first. Then of that, we will do the real rate. Alright, so... No, I think we should, we can literally just cover this whole place here. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's dope, alright. So, let's see. Alright, wow. Those claw demons do a lot of damage. Did he ever do this much, dam this much damage before? Uh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. So, fourth skill is something like Tsunadis. Like, sometimes it just doesn't like, hit when you land onto the ground for some reason. I'm not sure why. Like, okay, yeah, okay. When did the uh, when did the claw demons do so much damage? I don't remember. I really do not remember. I, I really do not remember the claw demons doing this much damage. Like when? When did this happen? Um. Okay, yeah. Okay. Upper high, in my opinion, is a very good skill for like wave clearing and everything because like it kills anybody in your deployment. So that is one good thing. Um, annihilation should probably fix the bug where you um, I think doesn't happen. So like, hopefully they can fix that. And why they waste that? I mean, it comes out very quickly, so I think I didn't waste that. Then I'm gonna pop my healer again because this this enemies do a lot of damage for some reason. And yeah, as you can see, I when I was using that skill, I just got knocked about pretty far away. So, uh, I'm not sure about that, about that skill, man. Okay, very nice. Alright, we're gonna do Rampage in the air, and we're just gonna spam this. Okay, so... I think... Hmm... I don't know, I feel like Rengoku is better in my opinion. Like, the range and everything, I feel like Rengoku is gonna be better than Akaza. So, if you guys wanna fight, uh, like a... Like a the good mythical, you should just go get, um... Um, Rengoku instead of this character since this character is gonna be way much more harder and more tank the boss is well, the boss fight is more tankier but as in a rank goku you just need to spam a little and you you know finish it 
I just bring Hashirama with you into the raid and you just finish the whole thing quite quickly and it's only a 1% drop rate so it's not that big since we already got 1% drop rate of a mythical boss like mythical character before uh, okay nice I'm just going to add okay I guess we are not going to go into the air I guess um upper high okay no that didn't work and yeah annihilation oh. I don't know man, like, Annihilation is like the, it's like the, how do you say, he had the cooldown, half of the cooldown of the Flame Dragon of Rengoku's, so I'm not sure which one is better. Hmm, they're quite close in my opinion, so, because Akaze have short cooldown, Rengoku have long cooldowns, so I'm not sure. Hmm, I'm gonna have to compare the cooldowns after I finish this. Rampage. And one good thing is that Rampage brings you up in the air, so like the enemies can't attack you while you are doing that skill. So like they can't it's a hundred percent hit skill since you I since they can't iframe it. Like all the boss works in this game is like how um they they only use skills when they're close to you. So if you do this, they're not gonna they're not actually like gonna use their skills on you. So that's a very good thing in my opinion. So yeah, how long did that actually take us? That took us around 3 minutes. Actually no, it was not even 3 minutes, it was 5 minutes for some reason. Now honestly, I would rather use Rengoku than um, Akaza, in my opinion, because Akaza, it is, um, how do you say, if I was like a casual player in this game, like, how do you say, I don't, um, how do you say, um, like, AFK grind a lot in this game, I just like, want to play the game for fun, I 100% would not go for Akaza, because, um, he might have, um, how do you say, short cooldowns and good range and everything, but Rengoku literally is the same thing as only 1%. So, I'd rather go for Rengoku, like Rengoku, because we may, if you didn't know already, we may have a, have a mythical character that's at 1% already, the Pink Sun Goku. So, like, uh, not the Pink Sun Goku, I'm saying the Pink Sun Monkey, or you could coin the Goku Black. So, if you have a 1% already, I'm sure that most of you guys have already like, did the grind before. It's just, this is the same grade but harder this time. But if you guys can dodge properly, it only takes like 1 minute to finish this. Well, as this one is like, this one is super duper long. Like, this one is, it's like 2 or 3 times of rank Goku's health, which is like crazy in my opinion. So, yeah, you guys decide what you want to get. But in my opinion, I'd rather just go for rank Goku. So, now, we're going to check out rank Goku's cooldown. 10, go. Now, we're going to see his skills cooldowns here. First skill is 15, 30, 20, 35. So, as you can see, Ren Goku have um, a little, how do you say, the cooldown is quite long here. As you can see from here. So, we're going to check out Akaza. Akaza. So, you see 12 seconds and that's 150. Uh, 15, 20, 20. Yep, as you can see, this is nearly half of Rank Goku's cooldown. Um, so, Annihilation will probably do more damage if it's like half of um, the cooldown. If you use it two times and total it up to the... So, it's two, 2619 times 2. So, it's around 5236... Wait, 38? So, like... That is a bit more damage than Ren Goku, I feel. No, actually no. Ren Goku probably does more damage because of the burn. So, in total, Ren Goku is the better character here. Um, Akaza, not really because of his um, damage. Uh, especially when he's a 0 a 0.7% character, which is literally lower than 1%. You guys are getting a character way much worse than Ren Goku when he's only a 1%. So... Yeah, in my opinion, you guys should go for rank Goku if you guys don't really like, um, how do you say, grind this game much and everything. Now, I'm gonna do one last final raid. This time, I'm gonna do a boss raid. Um, I mean, I said just now, I didn't want to do a boss raid, but I have a feeling that after seeing like him fighting the Control Hashira raid, I think he should have the, you know, the power, the enough damage and enough range to actually fight this boss, so I'll just go here. No, alright, we're gonna read now. Also, I just checked my I just checked the Discord that um the game won't be updating for a while because the uh, devs have exams, so uh good luck to their to them and their exams and everything. But I guess this game is gonna be kinda dead for a while until they update again. So yeah, anyways let's just start using our skills now.
Oh, okay, no, that's bad, that's bad. Okay, I'm running, I'm running. Okay, now that was actually kind of bad because TJ got knocked back, which is like, oh no. Um, I try bombard here. Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay back here. Please don't. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, as you can see, this skill is way much more better than well, all the skills in Rango Coast. Wait, what? Hello? Nah, you gotta be kidding me, right? No way you're gonna cheese this stage like this, man. No way. No, nah, what the? No, 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 what? Yo, 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 what? Oh, shoot. Um. <laughs> what? What? Okay, now this is... This is just brain dead now. Our castle is just brain dead now, what? Okay, I'm not sure if this is just a bug. Or is this actually how Arkaza uses his skill, but I 100% feel like this is a bug. What the... Yo, Rampage is crazy, man. What the heck? Like, do you see how fast we did that? We just speedrun it, man. So you just did a like, 1 minute speedrun over there without Aaron Goku using his iframe skills. What? Also, just so you know, um, when I tip into the lobby, it lags like a lot. I'm not sure why, but like, I've been getting this like a lot. But like, my PC is at like, only 56% RAM, so like, what? But like, but for real, what was that, man? We gotta go back and look at that again, man. What, what was that? Is that a bug or is that a glitch? I'm not sure. But Rampage doesn't last that long, 100%, because you guys saw that after Akaza, after the... After a few seconds of Akaza hitting, his animation was lost and like he just he was he was just standing there and like just spam that weird looking skill like what, what the heck? That's crazy man if that is actually a thing. What? No, like if that's actually a thing, right? This might actually be better than Hashirama. Oh my god. So I'm gonna go back here again. I'm gonna wait for him to use all his skills. Wait for his iPhones to go on and then uh, we're gonna go on the air. I'm just gonna try spam this. Oh no, it didn't work this time. Oh, that's unfortunate. And okay, we are, we are gonna die because I just tried to go close to him. Now, how did that happen though? That's just so interesting. How did that happen? Did I use, should I use the upper high first before I do that? Hmm. What? Alright, Rampage. Should I use Shift Flow to do this? No, that's not how I do it. Then. What is it then? Okay, I managed to iframe that. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't go up in the air, but it's okay. Um, what well, I actually use that skill for is only iframes, so it's alright. I mean, not an like iframe, but only that one moment I had to use it for iframes, so. Hmm, how did I do that, man? How did I do that? Just thought it was so weird. What? Okay, now this is so strange in my opinion because just now it works like. I don't know how, but like, it just works. I don't know how. How did I do it, though? If you guys know, like, please tell me in the comments description, cause I'm hundred percent gonna abuse that for, you know, for no apparent reason. Like, it's just for fun because like, it's so satisfying. Like the sound of this character is so really satisfying. It's like that hit sound or from all the skills here is so satisfying. Like, look at that. Um, I'm not sure if you guys should get this character just because of the rampage glitch. I'm not sure if it can happen again. But it, there, there isn't a 100% possibility of that happening, so like... Oh, okay, crap. Forgot if I... Face backwards that happens. Uh, I'm here, and I frame. Alright. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna have an iframe and burn. Damn it. Uh, okay, I frame it. But in my opinion, this skill is 100% better. The Rampage skill is 100% um, better than Rengoku's. Without glitch or with glitch, it's better than Rango, any of the Rangoku skills because a Rangoku, you ha it is how you say it, it's not in the air, no skills are in the air. As for Akasa, this skills in the air, so enemies can't iframe you. As you can see from there, when I use that skill, literally the Rangoku boss cannot iframe at all. So that's one good thing about this character, I can say. This any air skills like it's gonna be good. Um however air skills that goes down like goes down towards your enemies is not good because like they will confirm iframe it when you go near them so that's not one good thing about um air air skills but like this this um air skill is like how do you say m more better than others because like the damage is good 
the range is good and the AO is also quite good so in my opinion I'm not sure you, you guys should just get rank Goku but if you guys like, want to go for the extra grind and get this 0.7% character um no you you can do it but in my conclusion rank Goku will be better in damage and uh, range wise in my opinion except for rampage because but if you want to have like a better boss killer get Akaza because Akaza might be meta next time I kill bosses if there's no glitches or anything because the rampage skill literally the bosses can't iframe it unless you go close to them and use it then they might iframe it but literally the rampage skill nobody can iframe that skill so like Damn, this might be a new meta character for boss fighting, but in wave clearing and everything is also a great character too. So, no, go get this character if you think it's worth it. Uh, in my opinion, not not quite worth it, but the good thing I got him because of the rampage. The rampage is crazy in my opinion. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep this character and like, I, no, I don't feel like I wasted my time trying to get this character because the Rampage is very OP. Like, just that Rampage itself is carrying this whole character. Like, I don't care about the damage here because, like, the Rampage is literally going to allow you to hit all your skills. Like, literally all. So, like, yeah. That's, I, think, I think I'm just repeating myself at this point. Like, crazy, man. It's crazy. So, yeah. Let's just end this video here. This is going to be the final character from the Demon Slayer update. For Tonoki, I'll try my best to get him when I'm online and everything because most of the time, um, I will, might not be online um, for personal reasons and everything. So, yeah. But, damn. 